We've got Paul Arrington from Erico Property Management. Paul, what um, what's new in the property management realm? Any anything exciting or new, or maybe any hot listings you got out there that you need to get rented that are great bargains? Yep, a couple a couple things like that. Um, first off, thanks for letting me uh, have me on the show. It's awesome. Uh, been very busy. Uh, the National Association of Residential Property Managers had a uh, state convention in Melbourne um, a week and a half ago, and uh, I was able to teach my EPA compliance class, so that was awesome. Uh, had a lot of good turnout for that. We also had the uh, Greater Tampa Association of Realtors Property Management Task Force had a uh, panel of experts of uh, small, medium, and large companies, uh, brokers of companies to talk about best practices in the property management world. And then uh, we also had the National Association of Residential Property Managers also had uh, attorney Dan, Dan Drake do a uh, show for us or a um, presentation for us on the, the pitfalls of putting uh, people's deposits at risk and not and charging too much or, or charging incorrectly for, for the amounts of, of uh, secure deposit claims and so forth. So, uh, you know, that's one thing that sets us apart a little bit is we, you know, we do this continuing education. I teach continuing education, so that, that helps us a lot. Um, as far as new listings, we've got, uh, we've got this really awesome place over um, in Tudor K Condominiums over on Hillsboro. And uh, we have a tenant for it, and uh, you know that's one of the things that I do. We, we peel the onion back quite a bit, and when we do that, we realize that there's other issues. And this tenant did not want their six adult children. I'm not hating, call them adult children. They want their <laughs> six adult children signing the lease or being on the lease. Well, as we started peeling it back, they were illegal aliens and and lots of issues. But our our process of screening the tenants and making sure the right things are being being um, vetted, pretty much took them out of, out of the... Well, that um, saves your homeowner from a lot of hassle, frustration, right. issues later on when, right. you know, you got, you know, that, that, that could turn down the path of a lot of issues. That could do a lot of things. Um, you know, that particular condominium association also has its own application process, but it didn't even get to that point because ours screened them out first. But, uh, you know, anytime you have somebody that's an adult that is uh, not a special needs person, let me clarify that. And they don't want to be on the lease. There's typically a reason why that is. Right. And usually a red flag. Right. That, that's always a red flag. It's a red flag if if you know it's it's again a concern you've got to have. Right. So we, you know we peeled the onion back a bit and and found out some of the other things. So we just decided well that's that's just not a good fit. We got other people uh, hanging on the hook for that too. Um, and we have a couple out in uh, the Ruskin area that's uh, really nice four bedroom two baths fifteen hundred beautiful neighborhood in Tampa Trace. What would you say some of the neighbor, you know, so let's say there's a prospective landlord out there listening to the show, uh, thinking about buying some investment property or some rental property. What are some areas of Tampa Bay where the rentals fly off the shelf, you know, pr pretty regularly, where, where you list it for rent and it's, it's rented quickly? Um, honestly, very close to the base. Um, West Chase is a very good area. New Tampa is a very good area. Um, Anywhere that the, the Crosstown Expressway can, can get you back and forth to the base pretty quickly. Uh, that would be Brandon, Valrico, Ruskin. Um, Obviously, the, milita away. the military is a large part of the rental community because, you know, there's certainly a, a large portion of the rental community that buy homes. And we've talked about that on the show where, you know, we're doing a new home center and we know the military, you know, right. buy a lot of new homes and that's kind of their path. And the ones that don't tend, tend to rent because they're concerned that maybe in a year or two years down the line, they got to move and go somewhere else. Right. So, so that segment of the market, and that's obviously a segment of the market's important to us as we move to our new location, you know, a block away from, from the entrance to, to the base. So if you're a landlord, those, those are some great areas. Obviously, you know, some of those neighborhoods uh, are just as competitive from a purchasing standpoint. Those right. are some of the hottest neighborhoods that we're constantly seeing homes go on the market and they're gone. You right. know, they, they hit the market and, and they're, they're flying off the shelf. So, and, you know, a key to that, too, that you were mentioning, they're your, te they're your customers for the purchase of the home, but then eventually they're going to end up being process to go overseas or to go to another city. So they're going to turn around and want to rent So they're going to turn out to rent it. So they want to rent it to a, a competent uh, property manager, such as ourselves. And then when it does come time to, to sell it, we'll turn it back over to the dump. Well, the, the interesting thing about the, the that side of it is, again, I think military people have a great understanding of other military people. So right. they buy, they, they sure would love to rent to another military person, which is going to be a target in those neighborhoods if they buy them right. and then have to move a year or two down the line. So we're going to be back after a quick news break. We're going to talk about uh, the HUD secretary, HUD secretary saying goal to increase home ownership. We're going to continue our conversation after a quick news break here at 970 WFLA.